Hello and welcome to another Tune for Media review. Today we're going to take a look at the Boss GEB7, which is a 7 bands graphic equalizer pedal designed specifically for the electric bass. Cost me around $130 in a local store, and I guess you can find it cheaper in places like Amazon, eBay, or in countries like the US. It comes in this fancy looking leathery texture box uh, with the Boss logo. Let's open this up and see what we have. All right, so we have this owner's manual. The Boss GEB7 is a seven band equalizer designed specifically for electric bass. Since it allows for a broad range of frequency settings, even five strings basses can be accommodated. The unit is designed to provide the optimum Q for bass for each center frequency, while making it easy to obtain the most delicate of nuances it also allows for radically unique settings as well. So you have like a whole bunch of details about the pedal. Oh, I like this. So here you have the graph for the different bands. It's kind of cool. And different settings, recommendations, and memos for you. We have this ridiculously large uh, safety uh, paper. And let's see the pedal. Okay. Love the color. <laughs> it reminds me like early 90s computers <laughs> so it's pretty cool uh very very sturdy it looks like the build quality is amazing it actually has these cool red lines to show you visually what the bands are doing and a level so you have boost and attenuation of 15 db it takes like most pedal 9 volt dc by the way it doesn't come with a power adapter and it can also take 9 volt batteries like the old times all right so let's just plug this pedal and play with it a little bit and see it in action. So we're back in the studio and my bass here is plugged directly to the pedal and from the pedal I'm plugged in directly to my sound interface. During the making of this video I've already played a gig using this pedal and to be honest it took me a while to reach the tone that I like but I think it's mainly because I'm not really used to the center frequencies in this pedal and I've noticed that this pedal is very very reactive. Don't forget we're talking about 15 dB boost or attenuation in a pretty small fader so every little change that you'll do will alter the sound. Overall a great pedal you can have like endless possibilities for tone just because like I said every little movement in these faders will change the tone uh, pretty dramatic all right so let's play something I'm gonna use two presets that are provided in this owner's manual just to give you some good idea uh, and then I'm gonna play with it myself find something that I like so the first setup is what they call standard rock this is my clean tone and I'm using just the neck pickup right now So we're dropping down to 50 hertz, where the sub is. And this is a pretty wide Q. And we're leaving the 120 in its center. The 120 is where the body of the instrument is. Boosting a little bit from the 400 and a little bit from the 500. This is where you get like this uh, saturation. You know, you get like this low mid growl. And we're boosting a little bit of the 800. I love dropping the 4.5 a little bit and we're just keeping the 10k which is by the way a shelf like that so this is what they call the standard rock all right so without the pedal just remind you There's a lot of note definition here and not a lot of sub, uh, which is really just like a classic rock kind of sound. Let's do some slapping play, this is what they call. Bring the sub upward, leaving the 120 in its place. Bringing down the 400, so kind of doing like this scooped sound. 500 and 800 are the same. 4.5K and the 10K are boosted so this is like a very very scoop sound and without the pedal all right so i'm gonna do my own setup right now i'm just looking for some nice balanced di sound uh, just to get the good parts of this instrument a little bit outward and 
the less good parts of this instrument just a little bit attenuated. So this is without EQ. Let's bring up the 10K. This is where the shimmer of the instrument is. Yeah, definitely bright, so let's just bring it down a little bit. Bring out the 4.5, always see what we have. This is like where the top end of the instrument, and this is a pretty narrow cue, by the way. Oh, it's nice, I like it. Just a little bit lower. All right, let's bring the 800 upward. Nice growl, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna bring it down like that. Just a little bit boosted. Remember, it looks like I'm not boosting a lot, but you know, these small movements really change everything. All right, so the 500 is something that I'm usually cutting down a little bit, but let's bring it up just to see what we have. Yeah, so this is where, you know, I kind of like to bring down a little bit. 400 is an interesting area. A lot of note definition around the 400, so I'm get, just gonna bring it a little bit boosted. Even a little more. Now for the low end, I like the 50 hertz to go upward a little bit, and the 120 just a little bit upward, not, not a lot. Sounds good, but without the pedal. With the pedal. Sounds pretty good. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you like this video, please subscribe for more, and see you next time. Stay tuned.